Hi everyone, it's Paper One. <laughs> Today we are doing um, the journaling style tag by Melly Rose. And the first question is your preferred journal size. I would totally say my preferred size is A5 because A6 is too small and B6 is nice but also kind of small. So A5 is actually a common size those two sizes here is a5 and a4 those are the usual sizes that we use in germany for stationery especially school supplies so we don't have b sizes at all if you go to a stationery shop you can only buy a5 or a4 so if i want to uh, journal in like a composition notebook uh, size or something i have to imported you know <laughs> or go to a store where they sell other formats because this is just not normal in germany anyway <laughs> so i really love a5 because it doesn't take up too much space wherever you store it and i don't have much space on my on my desk like basically the size you see here the a4 size is is the size the space that i have so every time I want to journal, I have problems with this corner. I don't know how to put the journal in a comfortable way because it is just too big of space for this little tiny desk, you know. If I had a bigger desk, then maybe things would be different, but it is really bothersome, you know. So definitely A5 is the perfect size to carry it around. It's not that heavy, I mean... Girls' handbags are always very heavy because they just carry everything you can imagine with them, you right? But I think it does not make big of a difference if I carry it like a pocket size or an A5 in my pocket. Um, the next question is doodles you repeatedly do in your journals. And I cannot really provide an answer to this because I'm so random. I do different things all the time. I do not have anything that repeats. And I don't even doodle that much, to be honest. I don't even know if I have any doodles in here. Probably not. Oh, wait, I have one. One. But it's not a repeatable thing because I know. See, this is the only thing I have in here. So I don't have doodles. The only thing I sometimes do is fill an empty space with dots. Or circles. Nine Mickey. <laughs> My cat wants to. Yeah. <laughs> That's also a problem. Sorry. <laughs> you know. Every time I put my <laughs> A4 size journal on here, my cat sees it as an invitation to lay down on it. So, yeah, I like to put like random dots around stuff because I don't like the the white spaces. But that's really about it. Cannot really say anything else. The pen color most used. Black, red and pink. Because I'm using inks, or also gray, grayish, gray, black, pink, red, those are my favorite inks. And I mix and uh, mix them in my fountain pens how I feel like, you know. I don't have certain pens, I only use the same pens but different inks, right? So, yeah. Um, Do you consider your journaling messy or organized is the fourth question. Well, I never plan anything. Therefore, I would say that I'm not organized. I'm totally random. Whatever I put in my journal is just a decision I make impulsively, like in the, in the moment, basically. I mean, yes, I do collect images on the internet all the time and I sometimes print them and then they lay there like somewhere which is some kind of planning because I guess I plan to use them in the future but they just uh well they just lay around until I need them you know and and I decide every day spontaneously with what what kind of theme I want to go with and how I feel like so 
I would not say that anything is organized. I'm not too much into clutter. Like, this is maybe the most clutter I would go for. You know, like a little bit of paper because I don't want to use too much black washi tape because I run out of black washi tape, you know. So I have some paper, so I rather use that because this, the pages are so huge, you know. I, I feel like I need to do something on the sides to give it a border, you know. It's so, just so vast, like a desert i don't know i don't know where i'm going but i'm not i'm not chaotic i'm not chaotic but i'm also not organized i guess the best word i have for myself is random <laughs> the fifth question is what do you journal about the most well that's a good question probably also random whatever comes to my brain it can be something where I have daily things, like today I did this and that. And sometimes it's just, sometimes I wonder why, why this and that is happening in the world. And I go on a big fat ass rant about a topic that does not really concern my life that much, but I'm still wondering about it, you know what I mean? Also, I like to express certain... Um, certain fandoms that I have or certain moods that I have. Sometimes I like to express uh, my coffee addiction or... Well, I do not really identify as a coffee addict that much, but I love coffee. <laughs> I do put still put in like any sort of um, imagery that has to do also with, you know, mental health and stuff. I like dark stuff. I don't really know, man. I I don't have a clue what I'm doing most of the time. I People always say they like my pages and stuff and I inspire them so much and I don't get it. Like <laughs> I don't understand. I just I'm just me. You know, I'm the most me I can be in my journals, right? Because this is my space and I never thought that I was special in any kind of way. I always thought <clears throat> I'm the most boring person in this universe and <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> but apparently other people think differently about that. <laughs> so I just journal about whatever comes to my mind. It can be a YouTube video I just saw. It can be a documentary I just saw. It can be a story from childhood. It can be something that happened today. Um, lately, I have been encountering a lot of anxiety again for uh, stupid things, you know, and I'm just ba basically I'm just writing about how stupid I feel for being anxious about, I don't know, water drops or whatever <clears throat> people in my hallway, you know. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> mm. Let me drink something. Oh. Um... The question number six in this tag is, what is something you feel you always have to include in your journals? The color black, maybe. <laughs> Just because black is the expression of who I am as a goth and as a kind of dark person with a dark mind and dark fantasies. And I have like... A big love for darkness in general like I really love to watch movies where no I, I hate shocker horror movies I love movies that are just really dark and like you know this is why I'm a huge fan of Japanese horror movies because they have some kind of dark vibe around them that American or European movies can, do not have you know I'm just a really big sucker for anything dark but um if it's like an object or something like a stationary type of item that I always have to include into my journals, then of course it's washi tape and pictures, right? Like, because, well, how do I express what I'm going through if I don't put in the pictures? You know what I mean? I have to. I even did this uh, here in my childhood journal. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Sailor Moon, right? I had to express my love for Sailor Moon here. Oh, that's still giving me the creeps. <laughs> but I was always only like 12 years old, so whatever. 
then the next question is show your oldest and your newest journal right so this is why those two are being here this is my oldest it was in um, 1998 <clears throat> it was a gift for my uh, from my mom she gifted it shortly before my 30th 30 13th oh my god yeah before i turned 13 she gifted it to me so it was basically a birthday gift for my 13th birthday holy shit english is hard for a non-native person <laughs> yeah at this uh, moment in time i was uh well since i came from a childhood that included abuse i was not mentally grown you know i was not like a 13 year old that Today, you know, today when you look at 13-year-olds, they have, like, they are so mature. They have Instagram accounts with amazing pictures. They have, like, study plans for their school and planners. And they are, like, they have super nice handwriting and whatnot. But I wasn't like that at all. I was basically still a child. It was like I was still six years old, even though it said 13 on the paper but i was i think a little behind due to abuse reasons you know like um when children are victims of narcissism the narcissist sometimes tries to suppress them and keep them very small so they cannot evolve and form their own opinions you know this is what my father did to his children so yeah, I I was a total child at this point in life. I didn't have I didn't have any style, I didn't have any ideas, I didn't have and nothing. I was I, it's really hard for me to look at it. Oh, by the way, <laughs> remember I sometimes write in this uh, code? Yeah, here's the I mean, I still write in German, so <laughs> would be too hard for you to decipher, I guess. Yes, uh, I bought Sailor Moon Tarot cards. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I sometimes I do um, compare myself a lot with how I was as a twelve-year-old and how other people were twelve years old. Uh, how other people are when they are twelve right now. You know, I sometimes see YouTubers that show me. A ton of journals and they were already writing about really mature things at the age of eight or nine and i'm thinking to myself holy shit you know i still feel sometimes like i'm behind yeah <laughs> that sounds weird i know um my style has evolved in a it ties in this is the last question of the tag but it ties in with this topic the style Obviously, because I have grown, I'm writing differently. I'm writing more detailed. I try, I try to make an effort to put details into my writing so that when I read it in 20 years, it makes sense to me what I wrote because I will not remember the circumstances around this time. I can only read what I have written. And back in the day, I didn't do that. I only wrote things that made sense for me because obviously it's my journal. But I'm a different person now, and I cannot remember what I meant by those certain phrases or those certain words, you know. So, um, my style evolved also in a way that I use more materials to decorate because I can afford it. I'm an adult, I can buy my stuff. When I was a child, I didn't have it. I only had random comic magazines and whatnot, you know. So... There's an obvious reason why a style evolves over time, right? Because when you're a child and you're an adult, you're living completely different worlds. So uh, This is the only answer I can really give, you know? I'm still using whatever I have on hand right now, in, in this very moment. I guess that's the same. But I have different things that are available to me now. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I thank you so much for watching. I know I ram I rambled on about certain topics that I shouldn't have, but it just came out. 
Um, also, what I did in the past was because I didn't know any better, because my mind was formed by this narcissist and he told me that he is the only one who knows what is right. I believed him, of course. So what he did, he was always, um, well, very much in love with himself and he would always um, sign all his journal entries with elaborate um, handwriting, you know, his signature and stuff. And I thought it was how it's supposed to go. So I copied that, you know, so I, I think I, I'm not sure if I did that, but I think, for example, I used the signature DS for my both names <clears throat> because I thought you have to sign your journal entries because this is what he showed me, right? I didn't know that this is now cringe as fuck, but back in the day, I didn't know any better. So this is, I don't know. It makes me sad to think that how much parents can mess up their own child, you know? I know this is not the topic that doesn't belong here, but it is. My journaling has to do with my mental evolution as well. It's not just <clears throat> my hobby. Oh, I love to write. I love to craft because it's, you know, it's keeping me sane or whatever. No, it is very much an expression of all the suffering I'm going through with my depression. You know, I need my journal to express myself. I need to... I need to show myself who I am, you know, I need to figure out who I am. I need to, I need to see who I am in this person in a visual manner because my mind is so crazy and confused and jumpy, like almost like an ADD type of thinking, you know, like I never come to, I can never remember. I, rem I lose my memories all the time and I encounter things in my apartment that must been be here for eight years but i never saw them before you know what i mean so i need my journal in order to know who i am where i am mental mentally and physically and as a memory about who i was when i read this in five years you know because i change so much i go through so many phases all the time and I get fixated on certain topics, you know. And then I hate those topics and I don't want to have anything to do with them anymore. And, you know, it is really hard to explain. But my journaling, the purpose of my journaling has to do with my mental health. And this is why I tied those topics in. And I hope you understand what I mean. And, you know, don't, don't hate on my rambling too much. Um, yeah, all right, I think, I think that's it. That was, was what was on my mind and what I also wanted to journal about today, which I will do now as soon as I turned off the phone. <clears throat> I wish you all a very nice weekend and I hope that a lot of you are also doing this tag. I mean, I can say that I'm tagging you, but, uh, well... As we know with uh, tags nowadays, you know, everyone is joining in if they want to. If they have been tagged or not, they no one cares, you know. And <laughs> and person people that that are being tagged and they don't want to do it, they just don't do it, right? So I can say maybe I tag all of you who are watching right now. But if you do it in the end, that's your decision. You can let me know in the comments if you did it and if you did upload the video. So I can go to your channel and watch because I have so many, I'm subscribed to so many things that sometimes videos just slip through the cracks, you know. No matter how often I look at my subscribed section, I always get confused and I sometimes, sometimes it, I need weeks to find your video, you know, if you don't tell me. So, <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, I end this video now. Bye, bye, bye.